Greetings, fellow geeks, gamers, and nerds. My name is John, and I am here for another episode of The Room. Now, this is actually Chapter 3 of the game. Uh, I did Chapter 2 last week, and it took me quite a while to solve that little puzzle. It took me almost an hour. If you, if you watch that video, I tried to solve a rather strange-looking box, and I found this little thing over here that's inside. And uh, it's a rather strange looking thing. It looks like it might be a map of some kind. I'm not quite sure, but let's go ahead and find out. Before I do, I want to apologize for the delay in getting this video out. Actually, I was going to get it out yesterday, but I was having some issues with my game capture. Uh, the audio and the video weren't synchronizing properly, so I had to do it over again. And it was just too late. It was like 5 o'clock in the evening. So I said, you know what, I'll just go ahead and do it tomorrow, which is actually today, uh, which is on Sunday. So um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of take a look at this over here and uh, see over here there's a little globe thing over here that's got some missing pieces over here. So I got to find, I got to find those and uh, there's something over here that looks kind of strange. If you notice, it was kind of illuminated there, so I can just go ahead and use my eyepiece to um, solve this little puzzle over here. And actually, I already know how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. Get that done. Can I move this over here? Move that over there. And then I think... No. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's right, okay, cool, yeah. And I've got to put something over there, and I know where, I know what it is, I just haven't actually found it yet. But let me go ahead and kind of move over here, there's something over here, but I'm not ready for that yet. Let me uh, kind of move, see what this is over here. An irregularly shaped hole, okay. Looks like i got to put something in there. Okay, um, oh, here we go, yeah, over here, move this back, over here, there's a switch, I flip the switch, and we got something, and a box with some kind of puzzle on top, which I'm going to do, but let me go ahead and read this note over here, July 15th, my research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. And if you look at the image on the right over here, uh, if you watch the last couple of videos, you've seen this symbol before, and you'll see this quite a bit in the game. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like there's a some kind of a spherical thing. I'm guessing that's a globe of some kind, but I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and look at this box over here, and there's a puzzle I have to solve. Let me kind of move this over here like that. And uh, I've got to move it over to this side, so I need to figure out how to get that over there. Okay. Okay. Let me think here for a minute. Let me think about this for a second here. Let's see. Okay, i got to kind of figure this out. No, okay, alright, here we go. I'm going to move this. Wait a minute, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I need to move this back over here. To this side, move that over here, like that. Move that over here, wait, wait a minute. That's bizarre, okay. Something else I need to. Maybe not. Okay. Move that over here. 
that, so you kind of see I need to move. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I gotta move this over here like that. Right to the end. Swing this around over here like that. And, um, yeah. And that over here, and that over here. And we got that taken care of. And it opens up, and we have we have found an ordinary key. Perfect. And we move on. We move on. And let me see here. Let me see here. I gotta see what else I can do here. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a keyhole over here. Put that over here. You see there's a keyhole right there. Put that in there like that. Turn it. And that opens up. And now we have to solve this little puzzle. Okay. So I need to turn this a certain way. small square peg is what we found in that little corner over there. And we, what we do is we put the picture over here in this, that little panel over there. Let's take a look. Nothing. Just a picture. And, well, a magnified version of the picture. But, we have a little eyepiece over here. Let's go ahead and turn, put on our eyepiece. Take a look at the picture. And what we find? Ooh. Sigil. S I G I L. Sigil. Perfect. And we put this right over here. Let's flip on the eyepiece. And we'll put that over there like that. And that opens up. And now we have to spell the word sigil. Ooh. Ah, so excited. Okay. I'm trying to turn this a little tricky. There we go. There we go. We spell sigil. And let's see what we have here. Some kind of a bright blue crystal emanating a strange light. Ooh. And we have a note over here, dated July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure. And I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker and deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. This gets even more interesting, does it? <laughs> and let's see what we have here. We got this crystal, which I know, in fact, I know where this goes. That'll that over here 
and that door opens and it slides in. And now we have a light emanating from this lens over here, which we can turn to refine the beam. And that happens. And we found some sort of a tiny weighted flywheel. Okay, and I th think I know where this goes. It's actually right over here. Put this over here like that, and that turns. And now we have a handle to pull this back, and we have some sort of device for reflecting light. Hmm, I wonder where that goes. Um, and we push that little deal over there, and we found it. We found our first map piece, hexagonal piece of map, and. That goes somewhere over here. We gotta turn our globe here. We got that hexagonal shape right there. And we found something else of interest. A brass winding handle with a square pin. Okay, perfect. Which I and I know where that goes. I'm just going to I just wanna wanna Want to put this in place, and that light starts to make its way up. Okay, cool. And I know what I have to do with that, but before I do that, I want to go ahead and take care of this, and because this flywheel goes right here, we can turn that to open this way up, okay? And let's see what's inside. It's some kind of an image puzzle. Let's go ahead and solve it, shall we? Let's go ahead and solve it, shall we? Okay, perfect. And now we got to move it. Move it in place. Just ever so slightly there we go. We got it. An intricate wooden box. Okay, let's go ahead and solve that real quick. And we have a puzzle over here that... we got to kind of turn that thing a certain way, and then that opens up. And I know where this goes. It goes over here, in this corner over here. Turn that. We have some sort of a telescope, which we can use to look in. Well, let's actually take a look at it real quick and show you what's in Right now, we have nothing. And, uh, okay, we have nothing with the eyepiece either. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, take a look. We got a kind of, you see there's a panel over here that's got, looks like some kind of a timer. Let's go ahead and press. Let's go ahead and press it. We got to do this fast because. I got to do this fast because there's a time limit on each one. Rather oddly shaped key, but which is which goes over here actually. Okay, and let's see. Okay, now we gotta move the pieces according to the image. Okay, we gotta do this a certain way, I think. Uh, let me see. I think that works like that. There we go. And then, um, okay. and then we have like that. Perfect. 
Alright, cool, cool. Then we should we put that in place? It doesn't fit like this. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of strange because it looks like it's. Hmm. Okay. Let me, uh. It's bizarre. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it might be it might be something I'm missing. Mm, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's try try that. Still doesn't fit. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't fit like this. Okay. Okay, another small reflecting device. Okay, now we kind of move this in place over here like that. Okay, and we have this little deal. But before I do that, I want to go over here and solve the other side. I have to do this fast. I gotta do this fast, I gotta do this fast. And we found another map piece. A, a star-shaped piece of map. Tibet, I think. Okay, cool. And we have, we found another map piece. Which goes... Over here. Put that over here like that. And another door opens. And we found... Okay. Now I need to go over here and solve this puzzle. Now you can see there's nothing over here. But... Why don't we try the eyepiece? <laughs> now it gets more interesting. And we move this over here like that. Light starts to move in that direction, and we have ooh, another map of some sort. It looks like a star map of some kind. An oddly shaped piece of map, part of South America. Okay, awesome. You put that map piece over here. Wait, ooh, he passed it. Almost past it. Put that over there, and another door opens. Okay. All right, and now let's go to our telescope and see what we see. Ooh, see that shape over there? It kind of looks like a lopsided cross. I know exactly. Where that, where what we have to do there. There's like a little box over here with a puzzle, and we click on these things, they, they light up, and we make our shape. We found another map piece, a square piece of map, and we found another note. Let's read it, shall we? August 9th. The circle will write all along. How can I have been so blind? I have discovered a passage in the Scriptus Nocti, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylon Babylonians call Ishtar, prince of accusers and inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There is so much to prepare. Okay, let's see what we got, shall we? The last puzzle piece. Well, the last map piece, excuse me. And we put that over there. And what do we have inside? A lever of some kind. Shall we pull it? I think we shall. And what do we see? Rather 
interesting thing that comes out of our star map. And that, my friends, is the end of chapter 3. And I will do chapter 4 in the next video. But in the meantime, in the name of the PC, the Xbox, and the PS4, I bid you farewell.